What's up, everybody? Welcome to Redline Outdoors. I appreciate y'all tuning in today. I'm out here with my buddy, Joe Bowman, on Darbonne Lake in Louisiana. And what we have going on today, we're gonna be fishing with pool noodles uh, with just a little string attached. It's a super simple way to catch. Well, we're really targeting channel cats today, so, but anything we'll do. We'll be using two different baits. Uh, we have two color noodles. We have blue and we have orange noodles. You see them up there. We have 13 orange noodles and 15 blue. We're gonna put uh, cold worms on the blue and weenies on the orange. And let's see which one catches the most fish. So the way Mr. Joe has these noodles rigged up, you can see he's got a PVC pipe. What is that, one inch, three quarters? It's a three quarter inch. Three quarter inch PVC with just a little small uh, noodle tied to it. We've got roughly two foot of string, mm -hmm. three quarter ounce weight, and that's about a three alt circle hook. I think the circle hook is probably pretty crucial, don't you? Definitely. And They'll hook themselves with that circle hook. Yes. And he's got a little reflector in case he's running them at night. So it's super simple, y'all. There's nothing to this. Anybody can do it. We're about to rig up a couple of these and start chunking them out. Uh, this is shallow water, so we do have these rigged up for shallow water right now. The, the catfish are spawning back here. They're out feeding and doing their thing. And uh, let's see what we can do. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get them. See what we can do. All right, Mr. Joe is prepping a couple weenies. He's gonna rig up some of these orange ones with the uh, the weenies. You can get these from the dollar store. You can get these things from anywhere. This is uh, a great bait to catch a channel cat with, possibly some blues, and I have some cold worms. Pretty good size one. So I'm gonna cut these in half and put them on some of the blues. Cool thing about this hot dog for bait, catch this fish and it's clean you don't get your hands all nasty i know you ain't gotta worry about that nasty stink bait and it's cheap it is cheap all right y'all we've got them all put out uh we've actually had two blue ones go under but it looks like uh they didn't get hooked up so remember the blues or the worms so we've got them strode out probably uh well, i don't know 200 yard line through here so we've got it covered pretty good. We're about to ease through here and see if anything's on any of these. All right, we got a fish on the weenies. Let's go get him. Oh yeah. Really? Nothing wrong with that. Y'all, here we go, fish number one. There we go. That's a pretty one there. Rope me, got me home. Yep. Here we go. We got two good eaters right there. That's what we came for. Oh, yeah. Where's that little hooker thing? Have I have not. Grab the hook. Okay. Let me try. All right, so. Oh, 
somehow. Fish on, fish on, on the, on the worm. That one just went under. We're headed to another one. He just got hooked up, I think. Right under that uh, cypress tree. And then we got another one right, right there. Okay, we got two fish on over here. On cold worms, should have brought another box. That's what you want to see, y'all. Elite. Elite. All right, y'all, I want to give a special shout out to Alpi Cool. They sent me this nice cooler. It is self contained, no need for ice. Just plug it in. There's two compartments inside of it, not to mention an LED light. It rolls, has a handle, and it also has a cutting board. But there's two compartments inside this cooler, and you can. Uh, adjust the temperature for each compartment in the cooler for whatever temperature you need it set for y'all check this out so it's got a nice handle on the front no need for ice all these drinks are cold right now i have the temperature set there's my led light if it was dark it would light up all this right here our drinks are nice and cold but whenever we get ready to drink you can set the temperature right here for each compartment and you can see right here, it has this handy dandy cutting board if you wanna cut up your lunch, your fish, whatever you wanna do. And as you can see, I've got a cigarette lighter plugged up right there and it's staying cold. I like it. It also has a little port right here that you can charge things with. It has a USB port. You can keep your GoPro, your phone, anything. You can keep it charged right there. Nice set up right there that's a 52 quart and it has a measuring spot on the top you can measure your fish right there whatever you want to do i appreciate the cooler i'll be cool nice and cold we've been working i'm gonna enjoy this cold coat ah, let's catch some more fish There we go. Another good eater. Another eater. Don't you go in there. You got a mess in your boat, Joe. Another eater. All right, y'all, they're starting to pick up a little bit now. Seems like we're catching most of them on cold worms. Come here.
Well. He's in there somewhere. Yeah, he's in there. We'll get it in a minute. <laughs> Got another one right here. Hey, what you talking about? <laughs> Sucker come right off. We got a piece. Yep. There. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all look at how pretty that is. That's a fine fillet right there. This one's wrapped up in all that grass we're fixing to go get another one all right so the conditions today as you can see it is partly cloudy the air temperature is about 70 degrees the water temperature is around 65 uh the water depth that we're fishing is anywhere between three and six feet deep like i said we've got our noodles uh, about two foot deep something like that so we're, we're targeting shallow water catfish today primarily you having fun joe definitely my kind of day. That's it. Beats working. Hey, he'll stink the grease. Now you know where to come next time. Yes, sir. How crazy is that?
Try it that way. That works too. Works pretty good. Good grief. <laughs> we should have left hours ago. I know. We're gonna have too many to clean. These are all nice ones. Nice channel cuts. Yes indeed. Got another one on. Oh yeah. They're getting better as the day goes on. <laughs> Y'all look at all those fish. Uh, that's a, what was that, a 45 quart, something like that? I think so. That's a lot of meat, channel cat. That is some fine eating right there, y'all. Y'all get out there and go fishing. And also, get you some milk crates. These uh, stack perfectly, the noodles stacked perfectly in the in those milk crates you got the setup for it it's been a lot of fun it's been a good day it has cold worms won we're out of cold worms and we used a whole pack of uh, hot dog weenies but i think most of that was from bait thieves i think so <laughs> cold worms got it today yep all right y'all that's gonna wrap up the video mr joe i appreciate you letting me tag along absolutely we got, got a, a great day today yeah we got a mess of fish it was work <laughs> That's all there is to it. Just a pool noodle, a PVC, some uh, trot line string tied to it, about a three quarter ounce weight, three alt hook, depending on what size fish you're going after and the depth of water you're fishing. Just rig your noodles accordingly, but we got a mess of fish. Mr. Joe's about to go crappie fishing. He ain't wore out yet. So. That's right. 